Sharon Reeves here, aka Michigan Man Ray. Who has it better than us? Nobody! That's right, I'm so excited. I saw an interview with Herm Edwards this week, and he was talking about how Coach Harbaugh is pushing the envelope in recruiting, and I love it. And those bodies mad, but those haters, you know, people don't want to see Michigan take their rightful place, and I'm tired of it, especially the SEC. Come on, SEC coaches and the commissioner talking about the kids need to be resting during spring break. Coach is giving them a vacation and they're going to practice down in Florida. It's not against the rules. But SEC, they're known for breaking the rules. When I was coaching, it was only the SEC schools that gave money to families for kids' commitments and everything. Come on. If they don't stop messing with Coach, I'm going to tell my story to TMZ. Case closed. We had one kid commit three times. He got paid $60,000. And at FedEx, one time it came in the FedEx uh, package. One other time a coach gave it to him in a McDonald's bag full of money. Come on now. Y'all guys are dirty down there in the SEC because y'all try to win at all costs. Yeah, Coach is winning at all costs too. Hey, but he's doing it the right way. Kudos to Coach Harbaugh for getting creative and pushing the envelope. Keep going. Hey, don't pay attention to the Commissioner Greg Stanky from the SEC. You guys, man, back up. Get creative. Get in the game. Come on, baby. Who wouldn't want to play? I said it every time. I say it every show. Who wouldn't want to play for Coach Harbaugh? NFL staff. That's your dream. That's where you want to go. The best want to come be coached by the best. Go blue. Which leads me to my first point. Donovan Peoples Jones. Go blue, kid. Follow your spirit, man. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it right here, man. You're going to go blue. I feel it. I feel it. You're going to go blue. This kid is an athlete. He's a monster out there. Straight up beast. Oh my goodness. He can make every catch. He's strong in the kicking game. I mean, he looks like a starter from day one. Has the right size, the quickness. I mean, he has the mentality to just be a beast. So, Dylan said he's going to recruit. Dylan McCaffrey went blue. Yes. And what does that say about this kid's competitive juices? It's in his DNA. His father played pro ball, you know, three-time all-pro, pro bowl player. I mean, all Super Bowl win. I mean, think of this brother. Christian Stanford. I mean, come on. This kid's competitive juices, even though we landed the next Andrew Luck and Brandon Peters, he still wanted to come to Michigan and compete. So, kudos to him. I'm proud of him. Congratulations. And that's why I did the welcome video. Yo, welcome to the big house, Dyler, and I'm going to help you get Donovan because you said that's your number one target. Hey, the best want to play with the best and be coached by the best. You know, um, Nico Collins is another receiver, and I think since we loaded up in 2016, we only need two because the class we got 2016, every one of them can play. So I think Donovan and Nico Collins would be a good fit here to go blue at Michigan. Uh, also, on the offensive line i like this alex leatherwood this kid he loves michigan and i can see a commitment coming soon you know but i'll be a little concerned with the early commitments because you got all these hating coaches sec and you know little ohio yuck guys and all them little everybody want to take shots at, at the blue the new blue baby they want to take shots at us and try to flip our kids but once you go blue you won't go back so you know it says a lot about the um kids that stay committed and commit early and shout out to kurt taylor man kurt taylor doing his thing he's a monster too so i'm excited about the class of 2017 the way that it's shaping up right now and uh i also told y'all my sleeper was amir mitchell what does it says about this kid competitive nature and competitive juices where he said he looks forward to lining up every day against Jordan Lewis. You want to be the best? You got to go against the best. You got to be coached by the best. Which leads me to my next point. Sad to see Greg Jackson leave and go to Dallas, but hey, I know Coach Harbaugh has his replacement in mind and on the line already to go blue. But we're going to miss you, uh, Coach Jackson. You know, you did a phenomenal job. And uh, you can't knock results, and you got that secondary playing like the beast that they are. So go blue. Yeah, I know you still blue at the core. You know, see you down in Dallas, though. All right, who else we got here? Um, Big Ten basketball. How did we lose to that team down there? It happens. But I still see Michigan going to the NCAA. Shout out to Coach Picari for sitting down with us, uh, doing a Rashad Phillips piece, which leads us into a commercial break. Uh, by our sponsor. We finished up the uh, courtside with Rashad Phillips training DVD. 
you know, where he's a five disc set where he teach uh, you how to play the game of basketball the right way. So we're going to go into this commercial and shout out to Dick Vitale. It was awesome working with you. You're a living legend. And uh, thank you so much for your participation on the DVD. And hey, we need to get together and do a football DVD next. Go Blue. Until next time, Michigan Man Ray saying, who got it better than us? Nobody. Follow me on Twitter. Let's stay connected. Peace. Hi everybody, I'm Dick Vitale of ESPN and I want to talk a little bit about a guy that really represents all the qualities you want in an athlete. He's a guy that didn't have much size, but he had heart, he had toughness, and he had mental tenacity. The name Rashad Phillips. And now Rashad Phillips brings you Courtside, a five-disc training DVD unlike any other, covering every aspect of the game from beginners to all Americans. All five discs of Courtside will be yours for only $100. Go to rpskillsunlimited.com. One more point before I go. I understand why the SEC is mad. They're jealous because our coach is the king of the jungle. <laughs> coach Harbaugh. But also, the Big Ten had higher ratings than the SEC. <laughs> Y'all better step your game up and quit trying to pay for kids. And hey, pray for the kids. Peace. Everything is about to change.